Did you pick up Killer Instinct for Arcade 1-Up? Three quarter scale? The Pro? You've seen some great deals on this in the past. As low as $149.99. A lot of $2.99 sales. Currently $5.99. It's gonna come down again though. It's a buyer's market. Does it interest you picking this up? Or are you sold on the new Legends Ultimate with that KI skin? You could argue the fact there's value in both. That's what we're going to talk about. Believe it or not, this is a lot bigger than what you think if you've never seen one. I've seen the Star Wars at Costco and have played this plenty of times. The artwork identical to what you would get with the Attack from Mars from At Games for a heck of a lot cheaper of a price. I can make the case right now not to buy both products from At Games. The Legends Ultimate or the Pinball I think you can get by with one and save money go another route with pinball. For me, the 10 games that you get on here for recreational play, I might say recreational a lot in this video, it's gonna get me by. All 10 of these, it's fun games. And you know, if you can figure out a way to add more games on your at games, you can figure out another way to put even more on here too. Not to mention all the arcade one-up games. You've seen those those hacks. It's gotta be a way to add even even more of a library, right? They never really showcased a lot of this before. I mean, you're not getting the coin door. You're getting that with that games. But something I just noticed, like these are your, your typical mushy buttons that you would get on a lot of, you know, pretty much anything arcade went up. Look at the plunger button. It's actually rounded. It's a different, this is the only button I've ever seen from Arcade 1UP that's different than your typical standard mushy buttons. I mean, check this out, 61 inches tall. I mean, this is a lot bigger, a lot higher than what you'd think. And talk about comfort, I mean, just where this lines up on my waist, 37 and a half inches. Most control decks go from 36 to 40 inches that you're used to. It's actually a lot higher than I thought. Width-wise, kind of takes up the same amount as a deluxe. You're under 18 inches. A deluxe is about 19, 18 and three quarters. Skinny enough. You can really justify getting the arcade one up versus the ad games because you don't need both. And that's what I wanted to kind of prove, make a point of, especially just looking at that screen. Like I said, we can swap this out. There's room to put a 32 inch screen in here. You could turn this into what At Games is offering if you couldn't get both. If you wanted to go, hey, I'll get the Legends Ultimate 4K, but I can't spend both. I can get a deal. I mean, could you imagine picking this up for $149, even $299 versus $1,300 plus shipping? There's some things we can do with this, that's for sure. And we can save some money. And that's kind of the way I'm looking at it going into 2024. What I like about this is you don't see the At Games logo here. I mean, you're looking at this, there's no Arcade 1UP logo. I'm actually trying to find where the Arcade 1UP logo is. Nothing on the front, nothing on the sides. When we're in the main menu, you can kind of see something right here, but there's nothing. You're seeing the valley. The At Games logo is kind of a turnoff when you're, when you, I mean this right here in your face, depending on if you have Adam's Family or Star Trek, Peanuts, Dinosaur Dynasty, or Attack from Mars, you're still gonna see that theming on the back glass. Yeah, this is gonna change, but you're still gonna see that underneath. And you're getting drill covers for your speakers. You're getting theming. Yeah, no arcade one up logo. And it's going to be the same games, right? Could you make the case that we could actually see 
more of these from Arcade 1UP in the future. Maybe not Attack from Mars. Maybe this is a license At Games has full control over now. But Star Wars? Marvel? Could they just... I'm kind of think of an idea here. Could they make more? And charge even less? Knowing people will probably buy the cheaper just to get that need, that fix of just playing pinball for a couple of minutes. Might actually be the way to go. Going arcade one up with the pinball versus going at games ALP. I'm really considering this, guys. I mean, I just wanted to put this out there that there's so much more value, especially when you're getting a deal and it's just a couple of things we can change up on here. You might not even realize, you might not even see the difference. If you could get this deal again, if you were one of the fortunate to pick this up for $149.99, knowing Kohl's, Amazon, Target still have Attack from Mars, Best Buy sold out. Could you get by with this? Even if it was $2.99. I mean, I'm really starting to think. Going Arcade went up for the pinball. Going at games for the Legends Ultimate is the way to go. Because we're all about deals. And this is not saying we're gonna get it for $149, but it could happen again. They could clearance out. If Best Buy did it, others could follow. Very tough decision, isn't it? What do you do? Do you pre-order? Or do you hold off and wait for the better price? And where else are we gonna talk about it? At Best Buy, where we can really reference something. And I wanna, I wanna really focus on this because the sales we've seen and we're gonna see is a great example of what to come if we do wait, and that's the hardest part, is waiting for these sales. But if we do wait, it will pay off. It's how long can we wait? How long can we push it back? Because, you know, depending on what the news is, it's always exciting news, especially in the home arcade. It's just the wait, as Tom Petty would say, is the hardest part. And the fact of the matter is, we have two completely different brands we can choose from. We're pretty much the winners in this case, in this argument. Especially if you find those open box. We've seen that at Costco with the XL, with the Star Wars pinball, really getting great deals. I mean, we've seen these deluxe as low as $399, $299, Street Fighter II. Now this open box, nothing to really brag about, especially when they bump the price back to $499. You're seeing this for $454, I mean, they play games with us, you know. This was $3.99 literally hours ago, days ago. An open box in this caliber, like this Pac-Man's been out for a long time. It's the Pac-Man with, actually G.I. Joel did tell me that if you loosen these up, press it back down and tighten it, this should go away. So if you do run into this, it's an easy fix. You're gonna get that in a lot of this form factor cabinets, the class 81 the Pac-Man and the Ms. Pac-Man. I'm kind of going off a track here, but not even the finished product. They don't even have the screw cap covers in here. An open box price for this should be way cheaper. But besides the fact, every time we see a Pac-Man, a Street Fighter 2, there we go, a Mortal Kombat 2 from Arcade 1UP, they can sell this basically for $2.99 and still make a huge profit because they own the license. Pac-Man, Class 81, Mortal Kombat 2. They're gonna make money on this. You gotta think that going to the pinball, the Marvel, the Star Wars, they could drop that to $2.99, $3.99 and still make a profit and make some real competition for ad games. Check this out, the steering wheel has like got its mind of its own. No, it just stopped. And as a recording of this video, there's still time 
before December 31st on pre-ordering and still getting one of these early 2024. Actually, I thought there was four skins. Five skins on the ALP, and out of all of them, Adam's Family, which was the first image we saw, you could still pre-order at $12.99 and get by the end of March. I saw this in Chicago. I was sold on it. And then other images came out. We saw Peanuts. We saw Star Trek. Dinosaur Dynasty. And now Attack from Mars. And it's kind of confused me a little bit on what do I get. And as of now, the only one, Attack from Mars ending 1222, on that first wave of pre-orders, Adam's Family is the only one I could still order and still get in March. It's not like I'm not going to order this. Life happens. Something came up. And even though we're only putting up to $200 initially, I may or may not still get in on pre-ordering before 1231. A couple other things are factoring in and that's potential sales we can still see from our cave went up with their pinballs and the value on the newly hit Killer Instinct Legends Ultimate. I do want to say that out of all of them, Attack from Mars looks like the most accurate, real looking pinball machine. And once this render came, I was seriously going to pre-order Attack from Mars. Especially the fact that my parents have the arcade one up and I thought it'd just be kind of cool if I had one, they had one. And unfortunately, like I say, life happens. And I, I missed that initial pre-order. You can see 1215 to 1222, getting at that great price. Now, you're gonna be paying the full price of $1,500 plus shipping. And I'm obviously not gonna pay that just yet. Not gonna pre-order this year. The Adams Family, if you haven't pre-ordered, is the only one we can still get the same time we'd see the rest of these if you didn't order on that first wave, if you were catching the second wave. But just looking at the measurements, the arcade one up is three inches shorter, isn't it? Wasn't it 63 inches, 62 inches? It's almost the same size. And what do we get for this price? We get a topper that lights up, a back glass that's gonna change, 32 inch monitor, and functioning coin doors. Plus not to mention a ton of games. And, 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 and I'm not knocking at games. I'm just saying, if you picked up an arcade one up for the right price, you could find a topper, you could put a light up coin door kit in. Heck, you could change that screen to a 32 inch. What if Arcade went up? I mean, I don't know where the licensing sits for Attack from Mars, but they still have Star Wars and they still have Marvel. What if Arcade one ups discounts theirs? Does another batch. They're all about rehashing and gives us lit coin doors. For $2.99 to $3.99, I mean, is that possible? Could they give us that deal? Could you imagine? the competition we could get. Especially for us as consumers, like we can drop 1500 on an at games or we could get an RK one up pinball for three, $400. I mean, what would you do? I would get the arcade one up. As a recreational player, I'm happy with just those 10 games and we could, we could figure out a way to put more on there. I've had time to process this and I said in the last video that I wanted to come back and talk at games. We saw the first images and what do we see right here? The flippers. We could play the pinball on here. So just picture standing in front of it. You have the vertical screen, it's actually facing up and down and your flippers are on the side. Let's play advocate here for a second. If you picked up an arcade one-up pinball, let's say you scored the attack from Mars for 149. I don't know if anyone actually picked that up. I did read a comment from a gentleman 
who picked up a little, I, I want to say it was under 149, open box at Best Buy. If you if you've got any deals on arcade one-up pinballs, you have a dedicated looking pinball machine. You go with the new Legends Ultimate, being able to access the same games we would get on the ALP. Could you, with the screen vertical, could you be okay playing pinball this way? Having the flippers on both sides of that cabinet. What do you think about that? I'm kind of leaning that way right now because I'm not sure what skin to get. I'm afraid that there's gonna be more coming I also think that they showed us too many. Maybe they should have just went with Adam's family until 2024 and then started slowly burning out more titles because they kind of turned into Killer Instinct all over again, giving us the three-quarter scale, giving us the pro, basically back-to-back -back, as soon as we saw the first image. It, people held off on buying until they saw that price tag of $9.99. But if you have Killer Instinct already, I have Killer Instinct, I have the three-quarter scale, and I'm gonna tell you that for the right price, I would upgrade mine to the KI Pro. I mean, why wouldn't you? You see how the XLs are looking in comparison to the Deluxe. I mean, it, it's gonna be that much bigger, it's gonna resemble that arcade even more. As much as the Deluxe resemble a real arcade, the XLs are bigger, why wouldn't you wanna go bigger? It just goes to show if we wait long enough, we will get deals from at games. You know, you're seeing them across the board, 20% off, 19% off, 33% off. The micro, look at $300. There's only been one sale better, and that was $329 for everything. That included shipping. If you pre-ordered any of these, would you regret, let's say I did Adam's Family, or Dinosaur Dynasty, Peanuts. Would I regret not going Star Trek? Attack from Mars. What if Back to the Future comes out? I think it's too early for me to decide right now because I'm not sure. Adam's family is the only one that if you have not pre-ordered, we could still get by 331. Other than that, it might just be the waiting game to see if anything comes down in 24, how many of these actually sold and what that final price will be on the KI Legends Ultimate. Because we can always pick up these packs and play those on our Legends Ultimate too. You don't need the pinball. We could get the KI and play pinball. As weird as that sounds, it makes the most sense to me now than it did before. Even though it doesn't resemble a real KI cabinet like the KI Pro would, depending on where this price falls in, there's so much more we can do with this than we can with a $1,500 ALP, right? What I just might do is watch Kohl's, places like Wayfair, Target, Amazon, to see where their attack from Mars fall. I don't expect 149, but if it's 399 or less, that might be the ticket. That might be what I do to just get that pinball need, you know, to get that fix, having those games on here, because we went over the specs. The pictures make it look small. It's a lot bigger than you think. And for those prices versus, you know, 1100 to 1500 it's kind of a no-brainer for me. And I kind of just hinted in the last video that I'm watching the Marvel pinball for Arcade 1UP. And the lowest that's coming in right now is 599 If this drops, I kind of want Marvel more than anything right now. And that's kind of what I'm going to base 2024 off. There's going to be a lot of new releases I pick up. But I also want to get stuff I really want. And because I like Marvel, this would be a really fun pinball to have. Attack from Mars would be fun too. But if I had my choice, and maybe this is what's happening, is I see the Marvel and the fact that we saw the sale from Attack from Mars, that it's kind of going, I don't really want to spend the money on at games on a skin that I'm completely not in love with. Like I like Marvel. And I was totally going to pre-order the ALP 4K. Originally, I saw Adam's family in Chicago at the Pinball Expo. I said, this, this thing's great. Then we saw more skins. I was leaning towards Peanuts. I wanted Star Trek for my dad. Nobody likes the Star Trek, you know, the artwork. 
you got all that going. Then Attack from Mars comes out, and it's the cheapest out of all of them, so you start thinking, maybe I should get Attack from Mars. So I kind of flip-flop so many times, like I do with NBA Jam, Shack Jam, and the Deluxe, where I wanted a bigger NBA Jam, I just don't know which one it's gonna be. And the deciding factor for NBA Jam, per se, is gonna be wherever I get the best deal. At the end of the day, whoever has the best price, not the $5.99 price, not the $5.21. Whoever comes in at the $3.99, I'm gonna get one or the other. And that's the same with the pinball. But I'm not sure on pre-ordering the ALP 4K. I'm gonna look at Arcade 1-Up, someone's honking. And I'm gonna go that direction with an Attack from Mars, a Star Wars, or a Marvel that's gonna be a lot more cheaper because I just wanna play FX Pinball. I'm okay with the 10 games that are on there. Just to get something in that I want to play, might be that I'll, you know, that might be all I need. Depending on the final price on the Killer Instinct Legends Ultimate, I'll make my decision if that's for me too. Because that actually might come down. Time will only tell what I decide. I, my mind could change by 1231. Maybe I decide I'll pre order Adam's family. Do have a couple more days, but. Making a video stating all this might help me mentally. Maybe deciding on what to get. Maybe you, if you're, if you're kind of tossing around the idea. Because I just gotta tell you that that 149 attack from our sale kind of screwed up the whole thing for me because if they're really gonna drop that low or close to it, maybe it's Arcade 1-Up pinball I should be looking at. We got plenty of options. We got Arcade 1-Up, we got At Games. It's a buyer's market. Which one are you gonna get? You gonna look for the deal? Or are you gonna go all out and get that new release? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. 2024, going for the best deals. Getting the most value for our money. I think we're gonna see a lot of great prices to come.